afternoon everyone. Today me and my mate James are down Trimley Foreshores here in Suffolk. I've got a nice little basher tarp set up for this evening, just in case it gets too wet and windy. Today we're down the beach doing a little bit of fishing and camping. I've tried a couple of little different spinners. No luck so far, I'm going predominantly for bass. Bass is really good eating fish and I want some dinner so let's get on and do some more fishing, let's go. Fish, Ray! Not catching much for any of you. I really hope you guys got the last bit of footage. My memory card just wiped itself, so. Fingers crossed I got the first bit of this. My mate James setting up his bed chair by the looks of it. James has an incredible setup. You guys check this setup out. Look at that, what a beast. It's like a bomb shelter. Absolutely incredible. The lightest bit of kit you'll ever own. I think he used about 250 stakes. He's got his bed look and the bed roll. Looks cosy in there, James. He's <laughs> got a headroom look. Just chilling, chilling, chilling. <laughs> we need to do some more fishing, mate. Indeed, now that the tide's got down. Let's go. I've been getting played by these wasps for the last three or four hours since we've been here and I've wondered why and I've just found out the tree stump my tarp's tied to has a wasp nest under it so just make sure you keep your eyes open for any wasps that are even low down on tree stumps and that sort of thing. As you can see there's quite a significant number of wasps coming in and out of this uh, dead tree stump constantly. How's your fishing going, James? All right? Wet. Wet. Wet fishing. James, you getting wet? A little bit, yeah. Indeed. Close up. <laughs> Dude, wet and juicy with James. This is not poor, though. <laughs> not yet. Check out them thighs. <laughs> what are we hoping to find, James? Mussels. Yeah. Mussels, that's the one. I was thinking clams, but that won't right. CCTV, my friend. <laughs> Can't escape it. Fairly so docks in the distance over there. It's not too far away. James still looking for mussels, whatever they're called. So we'll see what happens when the sun sets in a couple of hours' time. Hopefully, there's not any cloud cover or anything like that. There's James picking his nose. Are you picking your nose? Oh, there we go. This is a live bait for the night. We've got some blow lug, we've got some lug worm, some cockles, whatever you want to call them, sea snails, and also good old fashioned, um, yeah, whatever they're called, I've forgotten. Yeah, totally forgotten. I also found a little antler, a little deer horn of some description. So that's quite cool to find something like that on the beach. Don't find them every day. Yeah, let's uh, get my bivvy up before the rain hits. What I'm going to do now is we're just having a little walkie-talkie test and see if we can get halfway across the river near the marina and still be able to hear each other on these Retavis RT24 radios. I'm not sure how well you can see in the distance there. It's fully zoomed in to 50mm. These Retavis, let me just focus that, there you go. These Retavis radios don't go even that far with the line of sight, it's quite disappointing. Hello James, can you read me over? That is absolutely terrible, isn't it? 
What's the sound quality like? Over. Not too great. Got a lot of bumping. Uh, I think that's the way you're stood up on a higher point. The sound quality is rubbish here, mate. It should do better than this. Yeah. It's the Bofang Mini much clearer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell of a lot clearer, mate. I understand you perfectly, dude. It's got a tiny aerial, but it does a good job for a tenner. This is pretty decent. Out of the two of them, this is the one that I'd go for. No worries. Over and out. We can catch in a bit. Right, so there you are. There's a quick overlook between the Revis RT24, just a basic, cheapo walkie-talkie, and the Bofang Mini, which is just the same thing, but miniature. So, tell me what you think in the comments below. Hello. You alright dude? I'm alright, I'm just getting a bit of footage on these fucking shitty radios I got sent. Are you? Right, let's get on with lighting this. What I like to do... Go away. Insects, there's loads of insects and bugs. Just dip that in your methylated spirit and then light it that way. It's guarding it safely, of course, over that direction where no one's going to be putting anything that can catch a light or anything. So, right, let's get to shake this up. It's a nice little, nice shelter here, isn't it? It's Bivy Man. <laughs> it's nuts, isn't it? Bushwhacker Man. I was talking to Bushwhacker Man and uh, Girl Outdoors earlier. Big shout out to them. Peace, guys. Absolute peace. There's big respect for what you do. Is this even going to fit in? Uh, it probably won't even fit in. Oh, it does. Well, that's deceptive. About a third of the way full, so. Apparently, Girl Outdoors, Becky, she don't like corned beef, so. Uh, if you ever come up my ways, Becky, I'm intentionally making you a massive corned beef hash. So, uh, you're not being rude, you have to eat it all, yeah? <laughs> Only joking, you'll get stuck with a chilli con carne. Cheap option. <laughs> there you go. Oh no, I spilt it already. Let's put that on. When that's boiling for a few minutes, I'll then add the Uncle Ben's rice. Right, so this is well done, to say the least. Trying to tuck into my chili con carne and spicy Mexican rice. Lovely job. I mixed in some of James's cocktail sausages as well. A bit more protein and substance. Where I'm just all the rice by itself. Lovely. Let's tuck in. Make sure this is out of the way, no one's going near it while it's still very hot cooling down. That can go there. That was nice, but <laughs> it's just too hot. <laughs> it's too spicy for me. Do you not do hot food? No, I don't do spicy food. I do any kind of hot food. No, nah, just chili con carne. Right, so for bait for fishing, we've got a few log worm here, big old ones, I like them, they're very efficient at 
get fish. <laughs> Some nice big oysters here. We can crack them open, give them a go for the bass. You see millions of little shrimp running about the place, look. Absolutely teeming with them. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, loads of oysters. We've got some cockles as well. They're actual fresh cockles. A couple of other sea creatures, seashell creatures. Limpets. We've got some limpets. All stuck together, look. That's quite cool. That's quite cool how to do that, just suck on each other. Right at the bottom here. Got some crab claws that we don't really want. We've got some sea snails. We've got about 30 or 40 of these. We'll just hook them out of the shell and put three or four on at a time on the hook. James is now making a fire. So we can stay warm and keep the mosquitoes away over the night. So yeah, we'll put a couple of these cockles and other seafood on when the tide rises a little bit. Can't wait. Right, so for all our hard work, digging out all the bait, after cooking it, we're left with quite a lot of them snails, as you can see on the right hand side. Limpets on the left, the darker things, they look absolutely beautiful. And then of course you've got the oysters, which is just down here, look at them. Absolutely beautiful oysters, absolutely beautiful. I really can't wait to use them as bait and catch us a bass. Where do all these bugs come from, man? Look at them. There's absolutely millions of them. It's crazy. They're all little shrimps. There's a big shrimp here, if I can get it in camera. There it is. There's a big old shrimp. Oh, hopped away. But yeah, all of these, all of them, they're just little baby shrimp. Cool. Setup's looking nice. Keep me sheltered from the rain if there is any. Got my fishing rod set up there. Couple of ni little nibbles. I reckon just a little dab or flatfish of some type, just nibbling away at whatever bait I put on. I think I've got a limpet and a couple of snails or something like that. I'll try a worm next and see how that goes. So it's now high tide and our fire has officially drowned. We've had a few little bites from fish on the old fishing rod but nothing's staying on the hook just yet. We've got a few big lugworm to go. Yeah, there goes the rest of the fire. Damn it, it was going so well. Right, we're now packing up the camp. Unfortunately for myself last night, the high tide come right up to here and unfortunately my camera on top of my tripod done that into the sea. I quickly grabbed it but unfortunately the camera's now shagged so I need a new camera before I do uh, many more decent videos unless I just use this GoPro to let me know what you think of the quality. If you like this video click one of the links down this side of the page. Till next time, stay safe and I hope you find peace on the beach, on the beach.